great part of being in a place like Bangalore is Bangalore doesn't have street food culture like many other cities and tiffin culture is big time. I've been in Bangalore for the last 24 years. Bangalore has changed a lot. But uh, there are some small intricate things which have not changed. The small tiffin rooms, the experience of going out as a community with friends, family, the whole experience has never changed. So when I was contacted for the Go Gusto rides, it was exciting that, you know, we go around on a scooter exploring all these old-fashioned eateries in Bangalore, which Bangaloreans of course know about. But uh, it's great to share with the food community at large that, hey, we're eating here. Typically, these are located in lanes where only a two-wheeler can get into or you go walking. When I heard about the Gogasto rides, I was so excited that I'm going to be riding with a bunch of foodies in a scooter going to the various different places in Bangalore. This particular Gogasto ride reminded me of my childhood when I used to go on tiffin rides with my dad every Sunday. My first love is for the tiffins in Bangalore, especially the old-fashioned restaurants where they get so crowded and people just have a bite and run off. Nama Bengaluru is such a relaxed city. Hopping onto your Mahindra Gasto and going around, checking out the small tiffin rooms, especially with a team of hungry packed of people, can't be better than this. These eateries are so integral to Bangalore's eating out culture and they've been so for the last 50-60 odd years. So I'm really excited to trace a map of this food and history on a bunch of scooters with these like-minded food lovers.